Good evening and welcome to King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story for you. I'm Mr. Leeds, head of the children's ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. And tonight's story is called A Brazen Serpent. A Brazen Serpent. And that's found in Numbers chapter 20, verse 14, all the way to 21 and verse 9. And that brazen serpent you've probably seen on some hospitals. And um, I have here my little first aid kit. And in my first aid kit, it has that little symbol on it in one of the things here. I have this is an antibiotic cream. I don't know if you know what that is. But it has that same symbol there. Um, of a serpent on a pole being lifted up. And that has to do with this story. And in here I have a whole bunch of other things. I have wound wash and I have um, tape for big cuts and things. And I have some gauze and I have band-aids. Um, and all of that stuff I keep in here just in case you need it. Um, and this bronze serpent here is that same symbol used in hospitals. And we're going to find out what that has to do with, with anything, with, with the Bible from this bronze serpent to the story. So let's see what it says. It says, um, it's called the Look of Faith. After many, many years, the Israelites again tried to enter the land of Canaan. They searched for a route through a country called Edom. Moses sent messengers to the king of Edom saying, Please let us pass through your country. We will not harm your land or your people. We will walk on the road, not turning to the right or the left. We will not drink from your wells unless we pay for the water we use. But the king of Edom refused. So the Israelites had to go around Edom. While on this long detour, the people again found a problem with Moses. They said, why have you brought us here? There's no water and no bread except for this vile manna that we're tired of. Now, manna was what God provided every day for them. They would go out in the mornings and pick up this little white stuff. That's what manna means. Like, what is it? So they would pick up this little white stuff that looked like bread dough. And then they would bake it. And they would get to eat that every day. God would provide for them. And I'm told that it has a taste of kind of like honey. Like sweet honey. So anyway. They were kind of tired of this manna. <clears throat> right? And they said, we wish we were back in Egypt. Now, do you know what they were back in Egypt? They were slaves. They, they're complaining about what God's been providing for them. And they're saying, we want to go be slaves again. Hmm, that doesn't sound pretty good, does it? So the Lord sent poisonous snakes among the people. These were called fiery serpents because their bite caused hot, violent swelling and thirst. And a lot of people sadly died from those snake bites. That's pretty point. That's pretty bad. I don't have anything in my little bag from CVS. I don't have anything in there that would help with a snake bite, a poisonous one. Now, the people saw their wickedness in speaking against Moses, for they were actually speaking against God. They confessed their sins and they asked Moses to pray that the Lord would take away the snakes. So Moses prayed for the people as he had done many times before. And God heard Moses' prayer. And he said, make a serpent, put it on a pole where the people can see it. If those that are bitten look up at the serpent on the pole, then they'll live. Moses obeyed God and made that brass serpent. And those who looked at it were healed. So, these people, 
they they were punished, weren't they? Yeah. They were punished because they weren't obeying God. And these fiery snakes would come out and bite them. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I've never been bitten by a snake. My sister had a pet snake growing up, but it was just one of those little garter ones that ate crickets and stuff. So it was really, really little tiny head that it had. It was real small. Um, it was kind of long, about that long. But it wasn't anything to be very scared of, you know. Um, but these serpents, when they bit you, it felt like fire and it caused swelling. And it was very, very dangerous. And people died from it. But what did they have to do in order to live? Yeah. They just had to look at that serpent, that bronze serpent, and live. Now, if you see the shape of that pole, what does that look like to you? Yeah, it looks like a cross. And the whole purpose of that was for showing that Jesus Christ was the only one that can forgive our sins. That Jesus Christ, if you look to Jesus for forgiveness of your sin, then you'll live forever in heaven. I want you to remember that tonight. Remember that when we're troubled, we just need to look to Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for this great Bible story. Father, I pray that you just uh, be with each one of the kids Help them, Lord, to look to you, Father, when uh, bad things happen. Lord, and I pray that you help us to trust in you and to look to you, Lord, and live. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you for joining us tonight. Remember to come back next time at 8.05. And remember, 1 Peter 2.9, you are a king's kid. Good night.